Hello, my gorgeous friends. I hope you are well. I've just been hanging around the house in this old fashioned nightgown as I do. You know me. Well, maybe you didn't know that about me. Well, now you do. I have another mukbang for you today. It's a leftover pizza. Um, we have an eggplant, it's a white pizza, actually pesto sauce, mozzarella, some other kind of cheese, regatti, regatti, as the Italians say it. Um, eggplant, garlic knots, a little overdone. Some sauce, I have some leftover wine, seems like I have been hitting it hard already, but I haven't. I put it in this little mug, this is really cool, because I'm accident prone, let's take a swig. I got some liquid on my snout. That's ruining my makeup, I'm sure. <sighs> um, I also have a black cherry Zevia, which I will enjoy. Um, all right, hold on, let me dress up my pizza. I always put a lot of salt and I'm going to put some crushed red pepper Ooh -wee. Oh God, now that's gonna get that song stuck in my head yesterday I had the song ooh ee ooh ah ah ting tang walla walla bing bang ooh ee ooh ah ah ting tang walla walla bing bang I called the witch doctor and didn't need it Mmm. Decisions, decisions. I have a hard time making decisions. My therapist says, what's the worst thing that's going to happen? Make a choice. I'm trying. Um, hold on. Let me get some bites in. Even out my blood sugs. Mmm. Oh, wait, I'm supposed to do a thumbnail. Mmm. Would you look at that? I actually have one more slice over there. I'm gonna try not to eat it. Mmm. I'm gonna try to save it for my boyfriend. But now that I'm halfway through the first slice, I'm thinking I'm gonna need the third slice. Okay, and I sincerely hope you guys are well. I'm gonna obviously, I've been trying to think of like, oh, do I talk about the situation going on? The coronavirus, obviously. <sighs> I don't wanna dwell on it. I wanna be here to be happy or whatever and get you away from thoughts of that. But obviously it's a serious thing and I don't wanna pretend like I'm ignoring it <laughs> because I'm not, I, you can't, we can't. Um, one thing I wanted to tell you guys about that, that um, I found helpful um, my brother told me about this website called instacart.com. It's also an app. Um, I logged on there yesterday on a Sunday. Uh, did I say the date? It's Monday, March 23rd. And I ordered groceries and they were delivered within two hours. So check that out. If you don't want to go to the store, can't go to the store, we probably shouldn't go to the store. They brought it right to me within two hours. Um, I was texting back and forth with a girl that was picking out the groceries because a lot of things are out of stock, unavailable. Um, she suggested some swaps, some I agreed to, some I didn't. Um, so I really like the app. Check it out if you need something and you're unable to get to the store. It's, it's really cool. I don't know where they operate, you know, where in the US or outside of the US or whatever. Hmm. Also, awesome. 
the toilet regarding the toilet paper situation you might want to invest in a portable bidet if they're still available on amazon i'll link one below mm. Woo. it's good to get your aggression out I don't really like wine. I don't really like, I, I liked the wine at first when I had it yesterday. Um, because they changed the law that restaurants can now sell alcohol to you with the food, which they couldn't before. Um, mm. And it was good. But then, like, even the next day, wine doesn't taste as good. It's crazy. But I figure, really, I, yeah, it's going to get worse <laughs> day after day. So if I want to have it today, I could try it. It's okay. It's relaxing for sure. I could feel the wave of calm come over me after having just, like, one sip. Today I woke up, walked on my walking treadmill, which I have under my standing desk, and I walk on my computer, and I work on my computer, and I walk, I'm trying to get 10,000 steps in a day. I use my Fitbit to figure that out. Um, yesterday I went hiking, you know, in the woods where no one's around. Here in Connecticut, we are suggested to stay at home. They're not going to arrest you if you don't stay at home, but um, yeah, if you you could still go outside, I believe. As long as it, you're not, like, you're supposed to stay six feet away from people. So. Mm. My boyfriend went on, and I went on a hike yesterday. I saw a frog. I saw a snake that I almost stepped on because I walked off the trail and almost onto a snake. But it was like a gar gardener snake. Is that what it's called? So. Not, well, at least that's what my boyfriend said it was. N not dangerous, I guess. Um, yeah, it was really, really, really nice to get outside. Oh, I, I, without thinking, dipped it in there. I'm a sauce girl, what can I say? I dipped it in. Mmm. Yeah, I still wake up and do my makeup every day. I've always been working from home anyway, and I am getting a lot done. I'm really hustling. I have so much work to do, and because I created it for myself and I love it. Yesterday, um, we had apple pie. I think there was mold on it. I keep talking with my mouth full and I'm sorry about that. Should I stop? No. Oh, okay, I won't stop. Anyway, who is that? Um, <laughs> I have an apple pie and there was a little specks of mold on it. So I just picked it off and ate it anyway. I mean, what was I gonna throw the pie away? Nope. I thought it could be good for 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 us, you know, get a little bit of mold. Okay, so I'm sure if you have Netflix by now, I I saw a lot of other other people talking about this, but Tiger King, it's a new docu series on Netflix. Very interesting. I fell asleep for part of it only because I just can't stay awake watching things for too long, but. My boyfriend saw the whole thing. I missed like one episode probably, so I'm gonna go back in and watch that episode, but it's like, it's crazy. Other documentaries I suggest, there's so many cool documentaries on Netflix. I just happen to have seen it all. Um, Making a Murderer, obviously that one went huge. Evil Genius was amazing. The Staircase, and now Tiger King. Top docu-series on Netflix, kind of crime, murder, mystery ones. 
check it out it's crazy and it's also about big cats meaning tigers i don't know ligers lynx lions the people that own the sanctuaries in america and there's actually more i forget what it was tigers i think they said in captivity than there are in the wild there's a in captivity just in the u.s actually than there are in the wild so they're breeding um animals and keeping them in captivity for people and tourists to come and pet them and that's only part of it that's not what the whole thing is about it's about much more than that but that's a little part of it and it's just, that's terrible like and i've seen these places too you can go and hold like a baby tiger and pet and get a picture with it but those facilities typically breed tigers all the time so that they have those cubs and those cubs like maybe until i think they said like they're 12 weeks can they really be around people um safely and then sometimes they kill them just because they just need the cubs the cubs are the money makers after they grow to be big they're just costly to feed and keep so they kill them um it's it's tough you know like sloths i love there's a place near me that you can go and hold a sloth but it just it that's not right either it's in a mall particularly now i'm wondering who's taking care of them I actually you know i went to volunteer until I had some issues at a, um, had mostly birds. I just hope they're being taken care of. I hope somebody's going there every day to take care of them because they're closed right now. Hmm. It's hard. I'm gonna rip my dentures out. I look like an old lady. Yeah. I live in Connecticut. Only essential businesses are open now. Pharmacies, restaurants, and other stuff. Certain other things. My boyfriend still has to work. I mean, it, it, it is kind of freaking me out. I hope that you're home and able to work from home. I still have just as, I have a lot more work than I ever did to do. So I'll still be working on that, but I'd like to get all my work done and I want to take a bath and read a book in the bath. I want to read that book that I mentioned I was reading back when I went to the gym, Secrets of a what is it secrets of a secrets of a whatever it's about a hooker in london you know the book or not <laughs> i think this actually will be okay i don't think i'll need the third slice after all yeah <laughs> no I'll, I'll probably shove it down my gullet soon actually if and i know myself I have already planned some other mukbangs um, with my grocery delivery yesterday. I've gotten some cereal and pancakes, so those are a couple future mukbangs I plan on doing. Okay, so I might have cut out some of the ending there, and I'm sorry about that, but it, I feel like it wasn't upbeat enough, and I'm going to try to be as upbeat as possible. I saw tigers eating, and um, that ain't how it's done. Mmm. Damn it, the camera shut off at the last bite. It was an epic bite. You missed you missed a lot, is what I'm saying. 
All right, well, I um, hope you guys are doing well. Thank you so much for watching this video. Like this video if you do, if you like it. Let me, leave me a comment letting me know that you stopped by and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. All right, love ya, bye. See you soon.